Welcome back my duelist friends, casual duelist here, and it's time for some more master duels. So, not too much, uh, did not go ahead and build my deck quite yet. Um, I did get a chance though, uh, just before the server uh, maintenance yesterday, to go ahead and do the surveys and stuff. So I do have, do have some gems. So, one thing that one of you guys told me to do was I needed to check out the shop because there were some really good deals in the specials. So I was told to come over here to bundles. So like, let's check these out. Um, and again, I, I'm loving that. Uh, let's get the Ash Blossom first. So 10, ma 10 Master Packs and an Ash Blossom. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and purchase that for the 750. And I should be able to purchase, I'd uh, pick up all three of these bundles here real quick. So this would be really good. Let's see. So let me look at them one by one. All right, cool. Heart of the cards. Invoked, salt mode, flumped. Uh, I could take this one or leave it. Okay, that's that was a pretty sick illustration. Loving it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not too sure what craziness was there, but let's go for it. All right, we get a sick or on that one. Virtual world card, okay. Cosmic's hero. I wonder if that's supposed to be the cosmic and that's just the way that we get that text. Daedalus, that's kinda cool. Nice older card. B Rose Dragon, I'll be looking forward to using that. Yukiona, uh, maybe we'll be able to rebuild my uh my Akashi Ruin here. Let's see what else we got. Trick stars, Exel, cool. Card Curry, that's not bad. I'll take that. Survey says Four Mud Skipper, great card. Four Mud Skipper, excellent card, actually. Gagamusha the six, making me want to play my Sams. A couple super rares, that's kind of cool. Not sure what the keys are for, guys. No crazy auras, okay. Noxious and Lakari. Couple really cool cards there. Fire Colossus, Shizuku, that's cool. Alright. Again, I'm, I'm not sure on the whole how many of these cards are super useful. Um, I just knew a couple of them as Force Justify. It's cool if we can get the rest of the deck. So I found new card packs. And I get my one copy. That's cool. So we got that. Let's go with our Lightning Storm. Let's go ahead. So we're guaranteed a Lightning Storm buying this. This is really cool. Again, we get another 10 boosters. Let's see what we get this time. Alright, we get a Mask Hero. That's kind of cool. I like the Phantom Sky Blaster. That could be good for some Link plays later. Alright, 
Alright, a right, couple cool auras. Let's see what we get. Got a pencil plume. Driver Gay. Max C. Good card, great card. Time Lord, I'm not so into that. The Super Quantum Mac. Get a little Power Rangers going on. Nefshadol Fusion, so maybe we'll get some of those. Live Key. Uh, and the Blade Master, that's not terrible. Twin Head Dimension Wall, not bad. That pack was okay. Let's see what we get here. Eh, you'll have that. Right, Utopia, calm down. One sick aura. Let's see what we get. Guardian Slime. Maybe we can get into some ancient and god madness in here. That's okay. Mage Chaos. Mage of Hope, that's not terrible. Macrocosmos, I'll take that. So, good trap. And of course, get our lightning storm, so that's worth the purchase of that. Let's get the last one. Let's go ahead and get that solemn judgment. Uh, again, one of the the best things like ever. Um, man, I would love to have that firewall, that bore load, that link Karibo. that Saryu just skull dread. Or the IP mask right I mean there's so many good cards in this set so let's see what we get let's see what happens yeah, an emancipator that's okay I thought I'd be excited to see Mystic Swordsman level 4. That's pretty cool. Let's see how many of those batteries we get. Maybe I'll do a uh, battery OTK. Short circuit's a real fun card. Delta Crow Anti Reverse. We've got one of my appliances. All good, all good. I'm beginning to think they just throw that animation wherever they think that fits. I mean, I love seeing him, but they, he's getting a little old now. True King's Return. Decent trap card. Not so excited about the Ogdaldic. Okay. See what we get. Like a good witch, so maybe some Cosmo love here soon. Curse Necrofear. Never got to buy any of that duelist pack, so that's kind of cool. OG G Keeper Spy.
Cosmojo. That's that's actually really cool. Got Minerva. That's not bad. Where art thou? Great tech spell. Last booster. Try Brigade and Silent Honor Arc. Actually, real excited to see that. That's actually very helpful. So, we found some new card packs. Not sure what those mean yet. So there we go, we got that. Let's see what those secret packs are. Oh, so I only get these for so long. So if I want to complete the DAX, this would be the time to purchase into those in order to get there. That makes sense. Um, in all of... Oops. Not sure what I hit there. Of those, the one I might want would be the appliances, just because I know exactly what I need to get them. So, okay. Let's throw a deck together here just real quick because I'm not sure what they're going to make me do. Oh my goodness, I haven't edited nothing yet. So we get Utopia, but no double, so we do have the double or nothing. So we can kind of do like a uh, Utopia Slash, but not really. So that's, that's fine. I'll tell you what, I will just play as is for now. I will make sure to use that later I just kind of want to see what the starting deck was here too okay that was the deck that they they had me actually starting off with so that's cool because we do start with a play set of unexpected die um, we do get the calls of the haunted real quick um, shield crush and smashing ground are just kind of fun tech blade knights are okay really sets you up for that and gives you a little taste of each of the summoning methods while giving you some of the not so best links. So let's see what Solo does for us. Let's check this one out too real quick. Okay, so we got the Luster Dragons, Ragnaroks. Only two blue eyes, they don't give you a third, that's a little odd. One Behemoth, Dark Hex Sealed, uh, Komodos, Lord of Dragons, Lance of Dragonutes, Axe Dragonutes, Kaiser Gliders. Kaiser Glider, definite OG in Speed Duel. Good card, great card type deal. Strong Wind Dragon, good card, great card. Some Flutes of Summoning, Stamping Destructions, couple back to square ones, Fusion Substitutions. Um, this is always treated as polymerization. So what is what this is is this is going to count as polymerization even for deck building. So that's all right. Um, got the rush recklessly, the silver's cry, the, uh, the rings of destruction. Obviously, eroded defense draws, threat roars. My favorite thing here is the fact that we do get the five-headed dragons. So if we end up with dogmatic of punishments later, uh, we'll be able to blast anything up to 5k, which is just kind of fantastic. And if we do end up playing like a big dragon build. Uh, if we can get our hands on the spell Dragon's Mirror, um, it doesn't matter if the cards are already in the discard pile or not. We can just go ahead and kind of push for some more advantage with the 5k. So that's really cool. Let's see about... Since we did our openings, let's see about uh, doing some solo stuff. And let's see what solo is all about. Uncover the hidden stories within the cards and duel with decks building built for drawing out their potential. Learn how to pilot each deck's 
uh, ins and outs of their strategies about once you've earned all rewards within a gate its status will be updated to complete if you have any rewards left it will say clear an icon for locked chapters will be displayed at the gate banner while you still have chapters left to unlock very cool so we did complete the tutorial that was our first bit now we're going to try the dual strategy learn how to special summon monsters and other techniques Use Emperor Spell Traps for successful Tribute Summons, and Beckon Elemental Lords to the field. So it sounds like a lot of us getting to learn about some cards. So let's try the dual strategy real quick, and see what this lets us do. And so, quite a bit. So let's see what, what uh, okay. Duel using the basic rules. Each player starts with 8k. Opponent will try to tribute summon a level 5 or higher monster. Note that if a monster is summoned in the previous turn remains on the field, a powerful monster will be summoned on the next turn instead of sending that monster to the graveyard. Okay? And they're going to have me using the starting deck. Oh, and I can change decks. So, let's change deck. Now, let's leave it as the starting deck. And our reward will be Raigeki. So all we got to do is beat them up, and we get a Raigeki spell card. So right off the rip, giving us a good card. And if you guys watched the ban list update last night, maybe maybe you got to it this morning. Um, yeah, we can now play that at three of as of February seventh. So that's gonna make for some interesting plays. All right, who's going first? I'm going to just totally forget about that. So it must be me. And I'm trying to use the analog stick again. Let me double check our extra deck here real quick. Um, there we go. Uh, so we got the Mighty Warrior. That's fine. We got Kochi Kochi Dragon. Once per turn, when this card destroys and pulls monster by my own detached material, make a second attack. That's kind of cool. That'll help us press advantage. Um, we can go into the Defender of the Labyrinth. Non-effects gain 5. Opponents. All effects your opponent control lose 5. It's in owner's possession. It's destroyed by an opponent's card. Target a non-effect in the graveyard. Special summon it. Uh, this is just 3, and then this is 2 plus. Uh, up to a link 3. So, Gaia Saber will be our power card. Defender will be our mid-range, a traffic is just weird. Um, so one thing that we can do, if we wanted to, uh, we could go into a link right now, or we could set up. So real quick, I'm going to choose to set up, because again, this is computer, this is just training. Let's see about putting the computer in a bad position. And let's go ahead and summon our Blade Knight, knowing that we're gonna get our power, uh, power up. And uh, let's see about what our opponent's actually going to do. So first thing is, I'm going to lose my Smashing Ground. Fair is fair. Um, they're going to set card. So we get our memory of an adversary, that's fine. Um, surprisingly did not want me to activate my dust tornado during their end phase. Um, really would have been nice had it given me the option. Okay, so we lose our card. We will set our memory of an adversary. So now when our opponent's monster declares an attack, we'll take damage equal to the attacking monster's attack and then banish it. Uh, during the end phase of the next turn, we'll then special summon that monster to our own side of the field. So that is fine. And then real quick, we're going to go with the unexpected die. We'll be able to special summon from our deck. So let's go with Beckoned. And we're going to play him in attack mode. And then let's normal summon our chosen. Let's just start going for life points, um, and then we'll worry about anything else later. Because for right now, we, we don't have too much to actually worry about. So, 
Oops. So there we go. We've got almost, almost half their hit points. Kamori Dragon. Tops our card. Knows it can't attack. Adversary would have worked for us there in that, in that uh, aspect. We'll get the skill successor. So we can still back up our uh, chosen. So let's go ahead and throw that in the back row. Then let's go to the battle phase. We could go ahead and club that dragon for 100 points. And we're actually in a pretty solid position right now. Again, though, this just basic stuff, and I'm not trying to use an upgraded deck. Uh, upgraded, we probably would have won by now. Um, because we did get some pretty amazing cards. So there he goes. He's going to do his thing. Gonna swing. Um, not sure why it didn't let us activate our trap card again. <sighs> so, is there something wrong in the settings here? Receive a prompt. Uh, again, I should have had prompts. Try that on auto. Again, no, there's no reason for that. Let's play our unexpected die. Let's get another beckoned. Uh, just because it's just straight power. Let's go to the battle phase. Go ahead and get him off the field. Now he's used two of those dragon gunfire. If he pulls a third one out. I've got to assume that he's stacking. He doesn't. We're good. Rip into our draw. Got the Blade Knight. In fact, I'll actually lead the Blade Knight uh, in the attack now. As uh, Blade Knight gains some ability. Um, and we have uh, less cards. So if that's a flip effect. Uh, we don't have to worry about it. it. Turns out it won't be. Then we'll have back and follow up. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Okay, we got both our traps still. Yeah, we know what's up. That is my dual mascot cat, giving us the chirps. Final turn. Not that this is that game, but. Just go ahead, and I am all about round numbers. So he has 2k, I will do 2k. Drop the base. Eleven turns, not crazy good, but it is what it is. So we got him. We got our car, a copy of Raigeki. Let's go for the next game. I'm not even going to bother reading it. I just see that we have Monster Reborn as a reward. And I want that spell. Because, and I'll be honest, I, I'll probably play like maybe one more of these. Um, and then I'll get off for the night. Because it's actually Thursday night right now for me. And, uh, not a bad hand actually. Uh, I'll be building myself a deck. Okay, so they want to talk about battle positions this time. Fair enough. Let's see what the opponent does to us this time. Oh, we're going first again. Okay, brilliant. Um, tribute to monster, target card, the opponent controls and destroy it. I love that. Leotar, when this battle's a non-normal game 500. So let's keep Leotar and Blade Knight. Let's lead back in, and we're going to hold Shield Crush in case he's got the D spell. Um, and again, I don't feel so bad about tributing the back end for our Ballista. Um, because again, this, this can just be responded whenever. So, let's see if it lets me... There we go. So, I'm kind of a jerk. I will activate it. 
and I will off my character, and since I'm allowed to destroy card, we're going to take out back row before it's viable. And then we're going to shield crush that defense card. And then we're going to decide, we're going to set the skill successor and lead our blade knight. This will get us our power bonus and everything else. So that seems to be the best move here. Let's just go ahead and try to speed the motions along. Go ahead, take an early lead. Pass turn. And again, we can get him up to 2400 right now. So that's like basic Monarch. Uh, we should be solid against the computer AI. Um, and again, that's defense. If it's a flip effect, doesn't matter. Blade Knight's going to do some stuff. Uh, we'll skip on activating our trap for now. Rip into our card and get another copy of Skill Successor. Looks like we're going to take 500. Again, not super worried. And he is going to special summon his card back from the discard pile. So, very cool. Um, next thing is, I'm going to set my new skill successor. Power up my boy. We're going to call Leotar to the field. Now, when Leotar battles this guy, since he is a non-effect... Sorry, a non-normal, since he has an effect. I'll get an extra 500 during the damage step. Wrap it up with this, that'll be an extra 9. 9 in that, 24. We'll be able to break Revival Golem. Uh, which means it frees up our Blade Knight to attack the face down defense. Uh, and again, just should be the best move. There we go. Allow us to trash that card. Okay, that's going to be a push. What happens when the interceptors flip? They just flip back down. Okay, so kind of an unbreakable wall until next turn when we're going to activate our skill successor from the graveyard so that we can maintain the one on board. Very good, very good. Let's see what the opponent does. They are activating their own effect. We will flip it down, that is fine. We'll have a new one. Is that the canyon? Is that the one where... Uh... Yeah, so damage becomes doubled. Um, we're not going to do anything yet. I actually want to wait until it's our turn. We can activate the one in discard. Alright, Bayonetta, what do you do, my dude? Once per turn, target face a monster your opponent controls. It loses a thousand for each monster your opponent controls. Unfortunately, it has to be a face up monster, so that's not going to help us too much. But we might be able to throw this in defense and actually eke them out. So. Real quick, let's go in here and activate the effect of our skill successor. We'll give it to Leotar. And let's go to our battle phase. So again, we know that this is our interceptor cannon. And we've got so much extra damage on it. And then we'll have Blade Knight go ahead and poke the defense. No need to activate our trap card. We'll go to main phase two. Let's set this guy. I mean, worst case scenario, we could set up a link play for next round. Uh, so I'd like to feel out the situation. Defense, I'm not even worried. Blade Knight plus skill successor equals we're getting through that. So it's finally time to do some damage. We get another Bayonetta. Oh, so let's check out our extra deck and see what's on the menu for Link 2s. Let's Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, the defender has to be weak sauce. Okay. Um, it was only going to be 25 anyway, so we will do this. We'll go into Gaia Saber. Just as a matter of proving our point. So Bayonetta, Leotar, and Bayonetta. Let's check this out. Um, I'll choose left. All right, I'm loving that. That is... <laughs> All right, that was cool. Blade Knight, not move. Blade Knight activates skill successor during damage step. Crush the stone statue of the Aztecs. Guy has saved a follow up. Nearly half of the remainder. Puts us in a great position. Let's go ahead and pass turn. I know I can activate that from the trap, uh, the discard pile again. I'll probably lead my Gaia Saber this time. Get Ballista Squad, that's gonna help. Eight hundred. Okay, let's see if we can arguably go go for game. Let's Let's try to attack the Blade Knight first, and then activate Guy. Okay, so I just missed, messed up entirely. And th that's what happens when you hit buttons too fast, my friends. Game should have been over. It's not gonna be, I might as well just keep my track card. Because that's not gonna be game. We still have our Ballista. So we still got that. So far, we've only taken that 500 off that rampart. Or the, uh, whatever, the rock launch trap. Rock bombardment. Alright, let's just attack. Um, not that they would put a torrential tribute in this deck that we're facing, but they might. So let's just clean and simple finish it. Okay, so that was kind of cool. And we got ourselves a monster reborn. That's going to help me with my deck build. Loving it. I got to press my luck. I got to see what the third, third duel is going to give us. Not the world's best card. Harmoning Captain's okay. Um, but hey, let's let's go ahead and try this again. We're gonna be going first this time. I, I guess we're gonna go first every time. And I guess it's to teach us to work with less cards so when we get into the actual competitive play against other people. Uh, we're just used to it. So that's cool. Good opening hand. At least for that deck. Yep, not even gonna bother reading that. All right, so let's try one in defense and one in the back row. So we'll set the uh, the dust tornado and we'll set crowned, and we'll just call that a turn. Played super offense the last two matches. Trident warrior, she can make her summon. There it is. Yeah, do we stand? Awesome. I'm gonna let him attack first. So the first attack is gonna give him some recoil. Now that he has declared his second attack, we're gonna go ahead and activate our, our uh, card now. And we're gonna go ahead and bop the uh, equip. Choose no set. His attack still continues. Bop him with some more recoil. 
Unset. That seems alright. Memory of an adversary, good card. Gonna need it. So, my strategy, I think, is gonna be to summon Beckoned, blast his, uh, what is this called? Swordmaster. Uh, if a warrior you control, oh, yeah, you control attacks, he opponents, monsters, he is just not destroyed by battle at the end of the day, which you can special summon this from the hand. During battle between this attacking card and a defense, okay, so it does piercing. Um, this should allow us, when well, this is normal summoning that, okay, so that's fine. He's used his effect there too. A uh, little shield and sword combination. I'll go after this. He may or may not suicide or tribute into something bigger. If he does, memory of an adversary will take it off the board and then take it later. Uh, force him to play defense, at which point we'll uh, shield crush him. Uh, should be relatively easy. Depends on the back row. So just real quick, let's go ahead and just pad our advantage real quick. And again, pass the turn. Hold our spells because the spell uh, D spells. And they've shown that they are willing to place those in the decks, so bluffing the computer isn't going to work. There it goes. We're going to go ahead and take it as though it were the direct attack. Do you play defense? So you played into my shield crush. Got my Chosen. Time to lead Shield Crush. Off their defense. Get my Chosen. Let's take a look at that sweet, sweet extract. Um, I'm not really feeling any of these moves right now because it will leave my uh, guy unprotected. So instead, I'll just go for the 34 that I have available to me. We'll take over half of what they have left. We'll worry about linking next turn while we have extra advantage of their card. So let's see what happens. You know it's not good when they think that long. More thinking. <sighs> I wonder if the computer's programmed to be able to surrender. Alright guys, we broke the training computer. So crash memory. Yeah, so at the end of this turn we will be getting their monster card back. And that'll be the Trident Warrior. Again, they didn't get to summon off their warrior of the wasteland. Oh, there we go, Marauding Captain. Oh my, that was... Okay, activating effect. Four. Field Commander Roz. 
So they're gonna stack one card to the top of their deck. Have no power enough to attack anything. And they don't even have their own extra deck. So I'm gonna summon their Trident Warrior in attack position. That will be my round. Let's rip that top card. We get the Ballista Squad, that's fine. Um, I'm not so sure what that back row is. Again, there's really no increasing the base powers on my side of the field. Um, let's think about how game happens. 18 gets through no matter what. 18 and 6 gets through no matter what. Uh, if these two are the uh, attack captain and attack direct. So that's 24. So no matter what, he's going to have 400 left. So without an extra summon here. Um, that's just how this is going to happen. So to maximize damage, we need to go ahead and take out the captain first. Use the weaker card to go after our boy. Looks like he planned this one out. Continue to attack. Attack will get drawn into the captain. So he actually ends up suffering less damage overall. Very big brain. So let's go ahead and try to uh, convince the computer we have something else. Again, it's not like I get to activate that uh, unexpected die right now. I'd have to lose my entire field for that to happen. Okay, does he get an extra summon? He does. It's worth 900. He attacks. Again sure why it wouldn't allow me to activate Ballista Squad there. Should have prompted. Uh, okay, we'll play our Toon Warrior. Get rid of the Crown. Get rid of the Trident. Good battle. Have the weakest character take it out. You know what? I'll end it for exact with his own card. I feel like that is the absolute poetic justice there for not letting me activate my trap card. Not sure why that didn't happen. So that's cool. We get our Marmoting Captain. Now we get some practice, and we also get more duels. Uh, but like I said, it's it's like 9 o'clock right now. So I'm actually going to call it here. And I'll continue with this tomorrow. And that'll be up on Saturday. Um, we also got some stuff up here. Let's, let's uh, grab that while I thank you guys for stopping by and watching this with me. Uh, and again, like I said, this is all in preparation. I'm preparing to uh, be able to play against you guys. Uh, hopefully have some fun. Um, let's claim all rewards at once. Let's see what all we get. Just 20 gems. Okay. And I'm not too sure what the CPR is, but we get another two grand in gems here. That's cool. So, it looks like we're back to, to stockpiling some gems. What is the currency equivalent here? Just because just cause I'm curious and we're all sitting right here. Oof. So normally, that's that. So two, two bucks a pack, essentially, or so. Um, 
I don't know, guys. I don't know that I could ever... I would have to be making a ton of money for me to start dropping... <laughs> just dropping cash in here. So... It's kind of cool. I might just go ahead and pick up that last copy of the structure deck, actually. Because, again... Structure decks are just a great way of getting cards. And let's see it's in this Master Magician one, right? So, like, Structure Contents, is this deck worth having? Time Gazer, Stargazer, Odd Eyes, Dragon Pit, Tuning. You know, it's, it's not worth not having. So I'm going to tell you what, guys. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blow a lot of money here on this, too, real quick. So let's take all of our progress and turn it into a playset of both starter decks. And we'll have picked up all of the specials. So I think the next thing to do is going to be to get this dual pass. Um... I feel like this might be a big deal. Let's see what this is real quick. What is dual pass? Collect points during ranked and event duels. In exchange for various items. Do 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 do. And rewards are. Oh, you get pot of. Okay, that's kind of cool. So you can get free stuff. Um, that's kind of cool. And if you get all the stuff, you get back your initial investment of the 600 plus, you will earn all of these. So those must be for making cards. So it's worth it, especially if you can do it in two months. So that's it. That's it, guys. Uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm going to go make a couple of deck lists real quick. Uh, so that the next time I can actually maybe get online and play some people, maybe. Or we'll just continue going through the solo first. I'm not sure. Um, so all of the things, guys. If you enjoy this um, and you want to see more of this, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And then uh, just seriously go have a great day. Go do something that you guys enjoy, something that's just for you. Go get that uh, cup of coffee you've been wanting, whatever it is. You guys have a good one, and seriously, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.